end goal for D-Day is uh, fighting a, a single naval battle uh, to gain access. Uh, that's what Son Young portrays. That's what the scheme of maneuver that we have here today uh, is optimized to do. In our doctrine, joint, joint forceful entry operations take place during the joint force commanders seize the initiative phase. That's precisely what we do. We go in and we kick the door down and we allow for the introduction of follow on forces. It begins with establishment of an amphibious objective area and then shaping and supporting operations ashore to set the conditions for the entry of the amphibious force, seizing the lodgement, expanding that lodgement, and then transition or termination of the exercise. Because we're forward deployed, we have very close relationships with our partners. And for this year's San Yong, that includes Australia, New Zealand, and the Rock Marine Corps. As we conduct these exercises, we get better, we're more interoperable, and uh, we have better integration across the force.
end goal for D-Day is uh, fighting a, a single naval battle uh, to gain access. Uh, that's what Son Young portrays. That's what the scheme of maneuver that we have here today uh, is optimized to do. In our doctrine, joint, joint forceful entry operations take place during the joint force commanders seize the initiative phase. That's precisely what we do. We go in and we kick the door down and we allow for the introduction of follow on forces. It begins with establishment of an amphibious objective area and then shaping and supporting operations ashore to set the conditions for the entry of the amphibious force, seizing the lodgement, expanding that lodgement, and then transition or termination of the exercise. Because we're forward deployed, we have very close relationships with our partners. And for this year's San Yong, that includes Australia, New Zealand, and the Rock Marine Corps. As we conduct these exercises, we get better, we're more interoperable, and uh, we have better integration across the force.